Today we're going to collect cold water temperature for energy choices. We're going to use this faucet here. You need to identify which one's the hot and which one's the cold. Because we're only really collecting the cold water data. And what we're going to do is take a glass. We're going to put it under the sink. So make sure you let it run long enough to get a proper data. And also make sure you leave it in the thermometer until it equalizes and comes up with that information. Right off the bat, it won't get right to the, it's not a digital thermometer. So today we're going to collect it, uh, data on your shower. Uh, we've already collected the uh, temperature. And now we're going to turn the shower on. And to know exactly how long to hold the shower bag underneath the shower, you'll read the directions here on the front. It says five seconds. And we're going to count the fives real quick and see if it comes up about right. So take your shower bag, hold it open so you can get it out of your shower. One, two, three, four, five, pull it out, and it should be a two and a half gallon. Looks like it came out at two and a half gallon on your shower bag. And now you'll take that data and put it on your Energy Choices uh, data sheet. So collecting data for your energy choices, if you have a raindrop shower head, which is really large because the data collecting device we're gonna have give you is a plastic bag that has all the information on it. It's just collected for five seconds. Now the problem you're gonna have with one of these is that it doesn't fit in and over it so you can't collect the data. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna use a large bucket. So you wanna use a large enough bucket that will fit over your shower head put it directly under it so you can collect it or hold it up next to it. So we're going to also, instead of using a timer, we're just going to do uh, count to five, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to turn the water off. And now we're going to take the water and we're going to pour it into your bag. And we're gonna hold it up and look like it's between two and a half and three gallon per minute. And that's about right for that shower head. So that's pretty easy to collect your data from a larger shower head. If your shower head's even larger than this one, as you can see here, all you'll have to do is use a bucket that's big enough to let it run into.